Hey coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe up above, down below, leave a comment if you have any questions on the video that you're watching right now. We are here to help. If you're looking for greater detail, make sure that you subscribe or you join teachhoops.com. I'm pointing up here and there's nothing up here. Uh, also down below, teachhoops.com, uh, 14 day free trial. It is a community, a resource of like-minded basketball coaches that just want to get better. One-on-one -on -one calls with me, office hours, every resource you'd ever want, videos. You know, if you don't know how to motivate your boys in the middle or girls in the middle of January, it's there. It will help you. Go check it out. Enjoy the video. All right. Welcome. High School Hoops, episode 21. All right, coach, go on this one. I love this one. I think this is the most overrated thing on any team ever, but go ahead. You know, and my perspective has changed a lot since I've talked to you, like, mostly every every month about, you know, a bunch of different podcasts and constantly communicating with you is, uh, you know, is there a distinct difference between a leader and a captain, or what is your philosophy or theory behind, you know, captains on a basketball team compared to a leader? Are they the same thing? Are they different? Um, I mean, and there's a lot of new um, – research on it people are kind of talking about it through the wave of different coaches how they handle that what, what that really looks like um, right uh, now in the game of basketball yeah, yeah so going to what i said before i think captains the most captains looks good on your college application but that's about the extent of it um and i've told you how i deal with captains i see who goes to the center circle the first game and there's my captain that's how I deal with captains. Because I figure if you're if you're if you're a leader enough to go to that center circle in the first game, then you're my leader. Um, and and it it's worked out for me for twenty plus years. It's like for you know, sure. I don't, yeah. Um, but it, it, captains are become become something uh, that they don't need to be. They become a popularity contest. They become a, why is Johnny not the captain? Yada yada yada. Okay, leaders. Like I've told you, leaders are worried not only about themselves, but about others. And then I can tell you within the first couple of weeks of my teams, who are the leaders, and they aren't necessarily the captains, you know, um, captains might be popular, captains might be that, but it's the ones that are going to get on the kids that aren't doing what they need to do. You know, we, I, I, I'll tell you the last couple of years, we've had time, we've had some issues with our teams getting, being on time and doing the stuff that we expected. And we, we spent a good nine months figuring out, okay, where are our leaders? How can we get them all on board? How can we come up with a set of rules that we'll all agree with and knock on wood, you know, we're, you know, halfway through the season, we've had virtually zero issues with tardiness, not being ready, not being ready to practice communication, all that stuff. It's been super big, but, but it was spelled out very, obvious to the players and they they had input on what those expectations were um and that's what leaders do it's like they want to win and you know everybody wants to win the game but it's making that next step up that leaders will really do um you know a, a leader of a business is no different than a leader of a basketball team yeah, you know, and like they, you know, I just, I, I think about what, like, I, I was a high, a high school captain, um, and yeah, I think about what, 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 what was that? What, 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 what did I really do? It was I had to do a glorified speech telling everybody why I, why I should be captain, um, right? And um, you know, what was it? I think that it did give me a sense to um, push myself, but I think I was, I was a, I was just as good as leader before I got the pat. Uh, you know, yeah. it was. I think a lot of times it's, it's about, you know, our, I like to have a conversation that's like, I think having senior leadership is huge. You know, you're being a senior, you know, having those seniors, that, that, that idea of leadership, I think that's what made me such a strong leader is that I was acting like a senior, like this is all I had left is my last year. Right. I think, I think, I don't even understand this whole, the, the idea of captain is just something that's been around for so long. It's such it's a, a letter jacket. And the thing yeah. is, it's like the letter jacket. It's like, it's just been around. So let's keep doing it. It's also, I don't remember where I read this, but if, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer. If you want them, if you want to have leaders, you have to teach them how to lead. Too. Yeah. That was on my, that was on my notes too. And yeah. you know, I, um, that leader, I've read the books on leadership and so forth. Uh, and you got to teach them how, what you want from them and how, how to be leaders. And, uh, you know, um, you know, developing standards and giving them standards to, um, uh, a great book that coach K wrote when he uh, won the uh, gold medal is called the golden standard, the gold standard. And he talks about all these standards 
that he develops with within his team and that coexists and they're all they're all a part of that you know i think it's it's a i think it's a all in or everybody's in or everybody's out kind of mentality right i don't right i think that if we expect only a couple people to be leaders so that means you only expect a couple people to be a hundred percent in what you're doing right so my notes here I put in is that leaders are one that are going to buy into the system that you are buy into the vision that you want to carry out. And yeah. honestly, don't you want every player in your program to carry out your vision? Right. It's our standard. It's like a, we yeah. were talking about before the episode today. It's like, you know, I'm harder on them after a loss, but I also say, you know, we just won by 20, but that's not our standard. I don't use necessarily gold standard, but that's just yeah. not our standard. And you guys know it, and I'll and I'll see this. I'll see eye contact. I'll see nodding. Yep. It's like that's not our standard. Those 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 seventeen offensive rebounds that they got. That's not our standard, and you know why. And how can we get better at that? And I've and I've called out guys at halftime, um, and said you know to a specific kid, you know this is not your standard. You are not playing to your standard at this point. Do you want me to hold you accountable to that or not? Just tell me. And then they'll go, yes, coach. I, then, then here's what you need to do. So I always ask them, it's like, you know, you came up with, do you want me to hold you to the standard? Because if you don't, that's cool. <laughs> but you, just, you have to tell me you don't want me to hold you. I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not belittling them, but it's like, do you want me to hold you to that standard? You know, do you want me to expect you to get an A in my class? I mean, I've said that to students in my, do not want me, because I think you can do this work. Do not want me to hold you to that standard. So it's the same think, thing in the court. I think it's that whole analogy of fists is stronger than five fingers playing together analogy is that right. I think the idea of captains is you start to separate that fist a, a fist a little right. bit, you know, and instead of saying, all right, we're all going to be leaders. And I think um, that's the whole Brad Stevens model now is that he doesn't even have captains. You know, they're all considered leaders on the Boston Celtics. And I like that concept. Right. You know, I, I think we should get away from that. I think that, 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 that isolation of, I think we should, you know, is there a better way to, address a team before game time instead of pulling out two or three people that supposedly are your captain. Right. Why do we do that as a, as a, as like a state it's, association? It's, it's, it's just a, it's just a stupid rule. And then why do we allow kids? Cause they're the captains. They can talk to the referee. I don't really want my players to talk to the referee to begin with. They can right. barely handle, handle chewing gum and playing the game at the same well, time. The, they same thing with the, the only ones that can talk to the officials are the captains in volleyball. I can't. I can't talk to the official in this in, in the stand, but my captain can. That seems like the most ridiculous thing ever. And it's only one kid. You're, so you're telling me only one kid on my volleyball team can talk to the, to the person, the R2, the one that up in the thing. Really? That's it. So there's only one leader, one person that can talk to you. It's just, it seems ridiculous to me. And it's the same thing in basketball. Only my captains can talk to the officials. It, it, I think it becomes the control issue. I think it's easier for the, the association to control that. You know, yep. All right, we only have to talk to three players. But really, it would make more sense that all players should be part of that discussion. If you're going to talk before a game time with the officials, it would make more sense for every player to be a part of it. Whether you're right. going to pull one team over and then you're going to pull the other team over. They do that in soccer, and I think I do that as a referee in soccer. I pull the whole group of kids, and I talk about these are my expectations. I think all the kids should hear that, right? not just three players that are so-called your captains. Yep, I'm going to bring think, that up. That's going to be my new WBCA thing, that and the bringing the 16-team tournament thing back. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to make them bring that to the coaches. It's true. I think that will take care of problems. I think – but I think that – uh, ultimately, I think we have a hard time getting people to value people in, in, in a program. So let's say we got Johnny and Jimmy, who are your 11th and 12th man, and they never get to do anything, and they're not a team captain. But, you know, they got to be part of everything. I think right. that all those players should be a part of the, the pregame uh, talk with the referee and understanding that they're every – I just think that creates isolation and bad bad and do, it, do it before the 15-minute warm-up then if you're worried about it. Right. Spend two minutes with each of them. We're not talking 35 kids. We're talking 15, probably at the most. Pull them exactly. over. Tell them what your expectations are, what you want from them. Let's be, let's let, let us, the state, let, so we're in Wisconsin. Let us, the, 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 the Wisconsin State Association, set the bar for everybody else then. Right. That, you know, that's what we all want to do. Yeah. But I think that would be the right way. And instead of, and then wasting our time introducing yourself to the, the coaches, go introduce yourself to the players because those are the people that you're going to be handling with the most of the time. You know, right. are you properly equipped? Have them be responsible. 
You know, right. we want to teach them responsibly. Are your players properly equipped? Well, I hope they are because I'm having them do that. You know, put the responsibility on the kids. Give them ownership. I love know? that. I love that. All right, that's going to be my new one. That and the getting rid of the jump ball are going to be my two. So ultimately, ones. Coach, I think we come to conclusion that it's not about captains. A, a good basketball program has always been about developing good leaders. And then good leaders, a good team is that everybody are, are becoming leaders because they're carrying out yep. your – your, your vision and your program. And I also think it's very important for everyone that's listening to this is don't expect someone to just be a leader. <laughs> you know, I've become a leader. I've been doing this for 30 years. I'm just getting the hang of it. I'm just getting the hang of it. It's like, don't expect, you know, your best player to be your leader. Don't expect them, any of them from one to 15 to know how to be leaders. You have to help them through the process. And you got to practice it. If you want them to communicate on defense, yes. you got to practice it every day. And you got to do other things that involve communication, all those things. You know, yeah. if you want them to have good locker room etiquette, you got to teach them how you want that to be done, how you want your warm up. You got to teach them everything. You got to teach them every aspect of it or it isn't going to happen. I agree. All right. Perfect, coach. All right. Thank you. Yep. Hey, coach, hope you like that video. If you're looking for more videos just like that, check out teachhoops.com up above or down below in the show notes. I do not think you'll be disappointed. One-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, you name it, it's there for you. Learn from me. Let me help you become a better coach.